I am Mr. Ash and I welcome you to this video where we're looking here at a new technique of integration. This technique is called rationalizing substitution. It has its certain applicability when you're seeing questions like that, integrands like that. For that, you can always utilize this form of substitution and this form of technique. And I'm going to show it to you in this particular video. It's slightly difficult simply because of the algebraic manipulation which comes into play. But you can see this example and see if this is something for you or if it isn't. We have over there as our integral, we have a numerator over there, numerator expression, a root, but x plus 9, and in the denominator we have x. When you're utilizing this rationalizing substitution, you have to come up with a good substitution and that will carry everything forward. A good substitution would be exactly what you see in the numerator, u is equal to square root of x plus 9. But having that root over there creates a certain complexity and you can look at everything like this, u square is equal to x plus 9. And now you've eliminated that square root. We have something over here which is a rational function in appearance but this radical complicates it. So you're doing this rationalizing substitution to convert this into a good form of rational function a true form of rational function such that you can then integrate it onwards. This right here is what we've drawn up so far. And then you can do the derivative of all of this, you know, like the u substitution, the polynomial substitution. Now take this forward. You'll have a 2u du is equal to dx. You see 2u du is equal to dx and bring everything right in there as you see it. You know everything here in the numerator was equal to x plus 9 root in terms of u, so you have a u over here. And you know dx is now 2u du, and you know you have an x over here. If you solve in this instance right here, x is equal to u squared minus 9, you can bring this u squared minus 9. But look, you have some common terms you can bring over here and combine them. You have a 2 which can be pushed out, you have a u squared, and then you have a u squared minus 9 du. All of that has now been converted into this by algebraic manipulation. Now this part right here, taking it to the next step is the hardest. You have to think of some sort of fraction addition which would have led you to this. And that would have been nothing more than this. It would have been 1 plus 9 over u squared minus 9 du. Now this is the hard part because to envision this and that being equivalent is hard. Imagine if this is what you have, you do a common denominator, you'll end up with this a common denominator u square minus 9 the 1 will go in there u square minus 9 times it will be here on the top u square minus 9 plus 9 you'll get u square divided by u square minus 9 so this right here is good this these two fractions that we've created are equivalent to this and this in my opinion this step right here is the hardest step of this rationalizing substitution technique but now you've created a plus sign and you've created two integrals, you're really looking at now this 2 integral du plus 2 integral 9 over u square minus 9 du. This part is easy and it can be left till the very end. Now what we need to do is integrate this. This can be integrated by a variety of means. You can do, if you want, you can do partial fraction decomposition or you can do trigonometric substitution. It doesn't matter what you choose. I, for this particular video, would like to choose trigonometric substitution only as a means of review and as a means of us bringing that into view for this particular question just to generate some interest. That's it. Otherwise, you can easily do this partial fraction decomposition and that perhaps would be the quicker way. There are a few things I want to highlight before I start erasing things. This and then this right over here because these two items will come in at the very end. Everything else will now get erased. But you see how we've developed everything from here to here to right here to right here. Now I'm gonna erase everything here because you have seen this. I have this down here which will stay as is until the very end. I'm gonna work only on this. I have two integral nine du over u square minus nine trigonometric substitution route. You know here a is equal to three in terms of the root of nine is three, but we know u is equal to, we have something which looks like basically here x square minus a square. When you know you're looking at that in terms of the trigonometric substitution, you're thinking about secants. Here u is equal to 3 secant theta, then du is equal to 3 secant theta tan theta d theta. All of this will come right in here. I'm keeping the 2 out for now. This 2 is out. I have a 9 and then I have a u and I have a du. du is all of this. It will come right over here. I have a 3 secant theta tan theta d theta here in the denominator I have a u substitution which will be 9 secant square theta 9 secant square theta minus 9 I want to simplify and 
do some shortcuts over here. When I'm looking here purely at the denominator, 9 secant square theta minus 9, I can isolate 9. I have a secant square theta minus 1, which is equal to tan square theta. I'm looking here at a 9 tan square theta in the denominator. And why don't I just convert this into exactly that 9 tan square theta. This 9 and this 9 can cancel out. This tan theta can cancel out with the square oh. over here. So what do I have left now? I have a 3 and I have a 2. I had forgotten this integral sign but I brought it in. This 3 and that 2 become a 6. And then I have here in the numerator secant theta. Here in the denominator is single tan theta d theta. You can even simplify this. You're looking here in the numerator at 1 over cosine. Here in the denominator you're looking at a sine over cosine. When you simplify this you're really looking at a cosecant theta. All of this right here translates into a cosecant theta and that's exactly what I want to bring in right over here. I'm really looking here at a 6 cosecant theta in terms of an integral. You know the integral cosecant theta has a good antiderivative and let me bring that antiderivative. It's 6 and now the antiderivative is natural log cosecant theta plus cotan theta plus c. But remember, this antiderivative comes with a minus sign, so I'm attaching it to this. And I still have this to worry about, and I might as well worry about it right now. It's a 2 in a u. The antiderivative of 2 integral du is a 2u, and I brought it right over here. Now, all of this represents everything we've arrived at so far. We have these thetas over here, which in the grand scheme are meaningless, because everything has to, in the end, be converted to u, and then in the end to x. But what is theta here with respect to this? Theta over there is equal to arc secant, or inverse secant, u over 3. That's exactly what it is. If you solve for theta, you take... 3 on the other side, you take secant on the other side, this is what you have. From here you generate a triangle, theta is equal to u over 3 with regards to the definition of secant, and then this here must be u squared minus 9 under a root. Then you bring in the definitions of cosecant and cotan. Let's do this, you have a 2u minus 6 natural log. Cosecant with regards to this theta will be u divided by square root of u squared minus 9 plus cotan with regards to this theta will be 3 divided by that. 3 divided by root u squared minus 9. Remember, you could have done this with partial fraction decomposition or this trigonometric substitution route. I'm doing this just for review of this technique and just for interest sake. That's all. Otherwise, I wouldn't be utilizing this technique. And now, you can do a lot of algebraic simplification and manipulation right in this part alone and I want to do that. You don't need to see this anymore, you know this. We have a 2u minus 6 natural log. Combine all of this, you have a u plus 3, open this up right over here, right here. And you know you're looking here at a u minus 3 and a u plus 3 individually in their roots. Think about it, these are common denominator items, they'll come into a single square root u square minus 9, which under a common root is a u minus 3 times a u plus 3 which you can separate into their own individual roots as this and that's exactly what I have so far and that's what I want to utilize now. I have a uh, this expression over here this u plus 3 in the root and this u plus 3 can cancel out such that you can bring a root over here and you can eliminate this one right here and I can enlarge in this one and I can enlarge that. So I'm looking at exactly this. Now this is all basically properties of radicals and logarithms coming into play for this particular part right here. And I want to keep working on this. This right here is no different than you erasing this radical and putting everything under a large radical, which again is no different than you erasing this large radical and then bringing everything out over here as a 1 over 2, which you know is no different than you bringing it out and attaching it here, which would be 6 times 1 over 2. When you do 6 times 1 over 2, you know you're going to get a 3, because it will be a 6 divided by 2, which is a 3, and now I can begin to erase this. And you. You have seen procedures like this before. These are just properties of radicals and properties of logarithms at play, nothing else. Now this, you have a rational function here which is under a common log which is no different than them being in a difference relationship with their individual logs. But I can do a good manipulation over here. You see I have a u plus 3 over u minus 3 and I have a minus here. I can convert this minus into a positive and then I can flip these around. You can work that on the side and you'll see that to be true. u minus 3 divided by u plus 3. And it, there's nothing wrong with what I've done over here. If you work it out on the side using the properties of logarithms, what I've done here is true. 
a minus over here with the original is the same thing as a positive over here with this flipped around. Like in a reciprocal, you flipped everything around. And now we are very close to being done. What we have to do is now finish this up with this substitution we have right over here. And that's all what we have to do. And then we're good. Now for me to finish it up, I'm gonna just create a little bit of space right here in this central portion and you will see everything will come into completion. Let's start bringing this entire expression up right over here. We have a 2u. u over here is a x plus 9 under root plus 3. And remember, you could have kept this a minus and you could have kept these the other way around. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I converted it to a plus because by convention it would be better to have a plus over here than a minus. Plus 3, natural log. You can do circular parentheses or you can do absolute value parentheses, it doesn't matter. U, what's U? It's of course this root x plus 9 minus 3 over root x plus 9 plus 3 plus C. This right here is your final answer, your antiderivative of that. Utilizing the technique which I've shown you, rationalizing substitution, that's exactly what it is. What kick-started it off was this specific substitution. And then, of course, as you saw in that one point which I ha had highlighted, you could convert that into an expression, which, as you remember, was the perhaps the hardest part. We had something, as you remember, was u squared over u squared minus 9. We converted this into 1 plus, and then 9 over u squared minus 9. That's exactly what I'm talking about. This part was difficult to envision for some students, and for others, it's practice and just technique. You can go back and forth and this right here helps you then get to the stage as you see remember you can do this by partial fraction decomposition or by trigonometric route i just chose the trigonometric route but that's it for this particular video this answer here is good there's nothing wrong with it and with that i thank you for watching this video have a great day bye